Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Heels, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, I counting my last days here in Hamburg before I return home to LA. Um, as you know, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm getting a little bit better now. Girl, I'm telling you, this German's um, flus are like, whoa. And because it is not as easy as in America to actually find, um, I don't know, medicine, it's, it's quite intense. To be very honest, like every time that I go sick in LA, I instantly, the first thing that I do is I go to CVS, I got my NyQuil, my DayQuil, my cough, the syrup, I, you know, do my shots, a lot of ginger, a lot of garlic, a lot of like everything, you know, and I just like do it immediately and it's, it's so easy, like, you know, in a couple days, I'm just back, but here, girl it's like a whole thing like you think it is hard to get medicine in in the states here in germany it's insane plus at that no one wants to speak to you in english so but yeah so i'm 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 fighting i'm a survivor so anyways guys i just watch the uh part one of the reunion of the real housewife of new jersey and I thought that, you know, while I'm walking to a little, to a boat that is going to take me to the metro. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> let's just talk a little bit about that. And what is going on with New Jersey. Um, look, you can tell from the beginning that this is going to be a very vicious reunion, you know. And I, I have been thinking... A lot about New Jersey and you know the toxicity that we have as fans of New Jersey I mean we talk about it all the time like remember how I, I used to say like oh my god New Jersey is almost here I can already feel like the toxicity of the people and it is true I mean we are very toxic like uh, the Melissa minions versus the you know, tree huggers and the whole thing. It's just too much, right? And I don't know, it's because I have been like thinking a lot about my channel here in Germany and like some changes that I'm, uh, I'm gonna be making. But I'm thinking like, girl, why are we so toxic about <clears throat> some people that to be very honest, we don't really know, right? And it goes for like every single franchise. Now, I know that our job as viewers, especially now in 2023, change, you know, a little bit. Before, we didn't have access to actually have an opinion, right? So it was more like watch whatever is on your TV, you know, you just shut up and scream to yourself or if you're lucky enough to have a partner, who likes the same show, maybe you can talk with that person. And that was pretty much it, right? But now, we found ourselves having communities of people, of fans, who we can actually have an opinion and talk about it, right? And I think that's what it changed, because now, we kind of want to hold them accountable. Uh, these people make a lot of mistakes, all of them, right? And we kind of want to like let them know that you are wrong, you know, that you are doing something wrong. You should be doing the right thing. But that's when it gets a little bit tricky because the right thing for who, right? Like, we all think so differently. And especially in the States, that's why the country is the way it is. I mean, you know, not everyone has a different opinion and everyone thinks that their opinion is the right opinion. So I think that's why we get so passionate on these housewives, right? But when 
I think, I feel that when we let that overcome the joy of actually watching the show, then it's becoming a little bit too much, right? Uh, like I was saying, we don't know uh, Teresa or Melissa or Margaret or Jennifer or Dolores or any of these ladies personally, right? So why do they have to, you know, uh, act according to our standards? Why it is so hard for us to see who is right and who is wrong and why people get so passionate? Like, I don't know, there's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a deep video, but like I have been really thinking about it. Like, why are we gonna go so far into like literally fighting and calling names to other fans or other people that don't think the same way that we do, right? So I don't know, I just wanted to leave there. And um, I mean, people who go so far into actually do like death threats, you know, and and try to scare these people. It's like, wow, you know, like, are you that close into hearing other people's opinions that you will do something like that? I don't know. Anyways, um, I do have to agree that sometimes when it is too much, maybe it's, it's, it wouldn't be okay for certain people to be on our TVs, right? When we have criminals, it's a little bit different, you know? When we have, yeah. <sighs> so I don't know, I have been thinking about all of that. So anyways, coming back to the reunion, I know that was like a big, <laughs> thing um, so the whole thing goes into like I'm I'm just watching this reunion a little bit different you know that I love Teresa I love Teresa I love 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 her you know but I don't love her because she's right all the time I don't love her because she is you know touched by God and her way of thinking should be the way it is no I love Teresa because she's great reality TV you know and I watch these shows, me personally, because I want to be entertained. And what entertains me is watching these girls being extremely messy. And Teresa is a perfect example, right? I love that she pour her life out there, you know? That's another thing that I love. People who are extremely real and raw, you know? And they don't give a shit about the cameras or a shit of what people are thinking. They just put everything out there. That's why, <coughs> I'm <coughs> sorry guys, that's why I'm such a fan of Teresa. But that doesn't mean that she's right all the time. Watching this reunion really makes me realize that this show revolves, of course, around the drama of, Melissa, of Teresa and Melissa. It has been like that for 10 years, right? Since Melissa arrived. And I don't know how the show can change at this point, other than maybe let them both go. Uh, I feel like Melissa doesn't have a storyline at all. If Teresa is not there I mean let's be very honest and this is not I don't look I don't hate Melissa okay I just like and I I, I told you like I, I, like Joe Gorga used to be one of my favorite people right because he's charming and he's funny you know he's also good TV but Melissa doesn't really have a storyline without Teresa the, the few times that she have tried to have a storyline, they drop so flat, right? Uh, the missing sister and the wannabe pop star, you know, and like, um, I don't know, trying to open the store. You know, all those kind of things have never been that power. It has never been like main character energy, right? The only thing that Teresa has in her favor is at least she did three seasons without Melissa, you know? And 
there was other dramas back then and that's because Teresa knows how reality TV works I don't think Melissa really knows how reality TV works after all these years because her only thing has been having drama with Teresa you know that's her thing that's that has been her storyline <sighs> I saw yesterday someone saying like, oh, maybe Melissa should have a season without Teresa. It's not going to work out. I'm telling you, it's just not going to work out. But I understand also that after all these years, I don't think that there is a future for neither of them. Like, they are just so, they spent 10 years depending one on the other one right that i don't know if either them either of them could be be able to survive without the other one you know what i mean and even though it really pains me a lot maybe it is time to watch them you know both both go maybe it is time to reboot new jersey right the only one that could have, could continue on this show, to be very honest, to me, it will be Jennifer Aiden. Jennifer could, you know, insert herself or on any kind of drama and pour her own life out there. <clears throat> you know? And so that will give her a really big chance. Uh, to continue to be very honest with you. I do feel that Danielle Cabral and Rachel Fuda and even Jennifer Fessler Will be a great way to reboot the show Bring those three back bring Jennifer Aiden back and just find Two or three new housewives, you know, and maybe it will be a nice like change uh, Margaret, I don't feel that Margaret really fits in this group anymore. Um, Dolores, even though I love Dolores, I think we have seen everything that she has to give at this point, you know. So maybe it's also her time to like leave the nest. And I don't know. You know, even though like, I love Teresa, but also... I loved Lisa Vanderpump. I loved Bethany Frankel. I loved Nini Olix. I loved Vicky Gumbelson. Because they were great TV. Right? But if we survive all of that, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, even though I have said otherwise before, I think right now, thinking from another perspective, I think the show will survive. Uh, Teresa Judah is leaving only if we reboot the show because if you if bravo let teresa go and they keep margaret and melissa and dolores and jennifer like the, uh, the same group i don't think it's gonna work out to be very honest with you i don't think it will be a good season so i will just be like fuck it you know let go or of those uh five people Teresa, Melissa, Margaret, Dolores four people and then reboot you know maybe bring some friends of, of uh, maybe brings you know like I don't know Danielle's brother's wife whatever <coughs> a friend of, of Jennifer you know and and I think because Danielle and Rachel and Jennifer, they have what it takes to be. And actually, I mean, on Rachel, I'm like this, but I, I think it's needed, you know? I don't think she did a horrible job. I think she was just too up Melissa's ass. But I think by herself, she will shine so much. So, I don't know. 
I, I think we haven't talked about the reunion at all. But you know, what is to talk about the reunion? They go after each other. Uh, Melissa doesn't let Teresa talk. Teresa doesn't let Melissa talk. It's a constant, you know, bickering. Um, there was a nice, you know, face off between Danielle and Rachel. That was great. Same bullshit as always, right? So I don't know. Uh, that's that's what is in my mind right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.